Hey guys, this is Grandma's Benjamin Button So One. I'm coming to you today with the strawberry letter. Let's Always get working it. against me, pushing back on all of my progress. No, no, no. Gulu presents its new original film. The United States versus Westerners have long been drawn. Alright guys, time now for today's Strawberry Here we go. Letter, and if you need advice this on relationship, work, sex, parenting, and more, please submit These kind of people here, I cannot, you need a phrase, these kind of females, I cannot stand. I can't stand these kind of females, I'm sorry. I can't. I just cut this down, I don't know what here. Subject, my wife made sure my son hates me. Dear Stephen Shirley, I'm going to jump right on in. I cheated on my wife two years ago with a woman that constantly threatened to call my wife when she didn't get what she wanted. This went on two years until I ran out of money and decided to end the affair. This woman called my wife a few days later. I was out cutting the yard when my wife, when, when she called my house and my wife answered. I walked in and my wife was on the speakerphone listening to my side chick with my son sitting there listening to Messy everything. ass female. That's what he you get from messing with the ass. And I made him leave the room, but he had already heard his house. My relationship with him was ruined after that day. My home life was terrible too, so I moved out after my wife served me with divorce papers. We are in the process of discussing who will get custody of our son, and I haven't seen him in months. His mother has brainwashed him to think I'm a no-good cheater and liar. She has him in the middle of grown folks' business, and when we talk, Which he shouldn't be. always on speakerphone so my son can hear all of the conversation. She sends me text messages with our son on the text thread, and she's usually calling me names and cursing me out. She's brought up all kinds of things that have happened in our marriage, and my son doesn't need to know all of that. Mm -hmm. I'm dying to see him, so I send him a text asking him to have dinner with me one day soon. He sent me the most disrespectful reply a child could send a father. I wanted to go snatch him up real quick, but I can't. This he is not this. the boy I raised. He needs his father back in his life. How can I reverse all of this brainwashing? Please advise. Well, I don't know if you're going to be able to do that, and I have to say this, everything in this letter is Terrible. Everything in this letter. I mean, you cheated for the lamest excuse ever. I mean, in the history of cheating, just say you cheated or wanted to cheat. Cheating because this woman was going to call your wife. No, Shelly, you you're not understanding what he's saying. Thing ever. I mean, That's not what he's saying. And then you, you cheated with her for two years? That's not what he's you, saying. She scared you for two years. Nope. Okay. That's not what he's That's saying. Steve's going to get straight uh, though. About the threats when they started, and then call the woman's bluff and not cheat it since she ended up calling your wife anyway. Um, you know, I, I also, this is what I don't hear in this letter. I don't hear any remorse from you. I hear no remorse from you about what you did. I mean, did you try to fix it? Did you try to apologize? Did you try anything? Anything? I mean, and of course, your wife wanted to hurt you when she knows your son is a way to get at you i mean what she did is beyond wrong what she did is beyond wrong there's no way your sh son should have been in the middle as you say grown folks business. he wasn't he if shouldn't she have been there ally, she, she shouldn't have been there to another adult you know she 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 tainted the boy now made herself look like a victim and yeah uh made you hate him and, and it made her your son hates you and disrespects you. I'm not blaming your wife. I'm not blaming no, her no, no, for no. anything. This is your fault. No, Shirley. This is you. And of course, your your son doesn't want to see his mom hurt and going through because of you. Uh, people get divorced every day, and parents do get joint custody of a kid. So hopefully, during the divorce, that'll work itself out. But yeah, you, sir, created all of this because of your cheating. No, nope. uh, get us straight, Steve. Broken, but you get us straight, Steve. Steve, please get us straight. Kind of you gotta apologize to him. You, you gotta do something. You gotta talk to your son. 
what it was because she only misunderstood it he says until i ran out of money and decided to that's end it the affair. see this affair was based around the money, About the money. he was given yep. the mistress so when the mistress couldn't get what she wanted and would threat i'll need this you need to buy me that this shit threatened to call the mm -hmm. wife he that's what it was for two years now granted the cheating should have happened stuff, but it was costing him too much so then he decided to he didn't have to do any of this. Yes, he did. I'm just, he I'm was cheating with the woman. He was buying the stuff. She wanted more. When thank he you. Didn't have the money to give her, she thank to you, Steve. Him. He tried to keep it until That's he ran out of thank money. Thank you. I will come back. I will come back with part two of your response. Girl. At 23 minutes after come the hour. Come on, back. Try to straighten her. Let her head her out. Come on, back. You straighten him out. He needs no, straight. No, you. that's straighten you out. Make sure my son hates me. Cause you misunderstanding the left. He gonna jump right on it. Cheated on his wife two years ago. Yeah. He admitted that. He know he that, wrong. He, he know he wrong. With a woman that constantly threatened to call my wife when she didn't get what she wanted. So the cheat, the, the, the threats, threats started now, after we started cheating. I want a new dress. It didn't stop before. Cause how you gonna tell somebody? I'm gonna tell your wife that I'm trying to get with you. She started saying that shit after they had sex. It was yeah, it started out as sex and it ended as money. That's it. Yep. So that's what happened. I was out cutting the yard when she called my house and my wife answered. Walked in, wife on the speakerphone, listening to my side chick. He know it wrong. My son was sitting there listening to everything. He was 12 years old at the time. And I made him leave the room, but he had already heard enough. My relationship with him was ruined after that day. My whole life was terrible, too. So I moved out after my wife served me with divorce papers. Mm -hmm. So this isn't about a reconciliation. It's it's nothing to do about reconciliation. He, he's not trying to get back with him. Here's the problem. We're in the process of discussion who will get custody of our son. Dog, you're not getting custody. Mm -hmm. you can I don't even know why he thought custody. that shit was what. I don't know why he yeah, thought that shit was out an option. Visitation, but you're not getting custody. You can stop this argument right, right now. Right now. I haven't seen him in months. His mother has brainwashed him to think I'm a no good cheater and liar. She has him in the middle of grown folks' business, and when we talk, she's always on speakerphone so my son can hear all of the conversation. Shirley and I both agree she's wrong for this. Dead ass. I'm going to tell you at the end. Sends me text messages with our son on the text thread. Oh, she, she, she wrong, man. But I'm going to tell you why she's doing this, too. 
calling you names and cussing me out. She's brought off all kind of things that happened in our marriage, and my son don't need to know all that. I'm dying to see him. So when I sent him a text asking to have dinner with me one day soon, he sent me the most disrespectful reply a child could send. That's coming father. from the mama. That's not coming from him. I want to go snatch him up real quick, but I can't. That's it's coming from the mama. I raise. He needs his father back in his life. How can I reverse all the now, please, Steve, get advice. this thing, get, get it straight. Because I'm, you gonna start it, I'm gonna finish it. I hate these kind of things. But here's the problem: she won, but, but he, he lost. lost. The little boy lost. Not you have lost. Her son has lost. Because see, son, daughter, whatever the child it is. Husband, but now her, she got her son thinking he ain't got. He ain't got no daddy. Come on now. And it don't have to be because here's my opinion in this whole thing. Get him. That's all he is. It doesn't mean he's a bad he's father. Not a good father. Those are two different, different. roles. Thank you. Completely. And when I say that, I'm meaning that the two roles can be separated and each They are separated be because you have a child and a man. You, you can't can treat your child like you make you can't invite You can be a great father, but you be don't an awful husband. make you a great Thank husband. Thank you. Or boyfriend, you can be a terrible boyfriend and be a great kid's dad. Come on now. Yep, that's what it is. Is how, and this is what people, this is what they've done. This is what people have started to do. They have started to do this, and that is irking. That man is still a man, no matter what you say about him. But you are hindering. That is that irks me so much when when women do that. They so mad because at that man. Because the person that can teach him how to be a man, you discredited him because he wasn't a good husband. Mm -hmm. That ain't got nothing to do with the fact that he's still a daddy. For whatever the reason. Come on now. Was he wrong for cheating? 100%. Yes. Hundred percent. But because he's not a good husband, don't does not make him not a good, good dad. That's right now. So now you brainwash the child into the hating thinking his that's your for no and reason. You win, but guess what? Your child loses. Your child is definitely gonna lose. Y'all got to stop that. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Yeah. If you are out there, you have to stop that. They out there, Steve. If you are in the process of using your child as, as a pawn in divorcing your relationship, you have to stop that. I am speaking from experience. You have to stop that. Thank you, Steve. It's not for you to do this to this boy. Because I have news for you. One day, this boy is going to grow up. And he's going to know the truth. And as this boy grows up, this boy is going to make mistakes of his own. And he's going to start to understand that mistakes happen in life. But because he wasn't a great husband to you, don't mean that he wasn't a great father to this boy. And you're doing nothing but damaging the boy. That's and they all tell you doing. all the time, listen, I don't let my children hear me say nothing about their mother's disparaging. Nothing. Oh, I could, but I don't. Uh-huh. Now, them on the other hand, oh, they done me. They, yeah, they, 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 they drag you through the mud. They'll drag you through the mud. They really will. They'll drag you through the mud now. At the end, the truth comes out. Hang in there, dog. I support the man in this. Place. Yeah, you're going to have to. And it's not because of the cheating. It has nothing to do with the cheating. Was he wrong for cheating? You damn right he was wrong. But my ex -wife sure my son hates me. See, the I letter ain't even about definitely wrong. And, uh, her. Have some personal experiences to talk it's more so like about, uh, no, because I ain't even, we done. Um, yeah, this letter really ain't, it says my ex-wife made sure my son hates me. It has nothing to do with the fact that he cheated on his wife. This is about the fact that a father has lost his son because the father was a jackass. And the mother was a jackass too. Let's not count her out. The mother's a jackass. Because these are the kind of mothers I hate. Y'all cool when y'all fucking whatever, you know. And y'all get to be a couple. That's bad. I'm bad. Then baby pop then baby pop up. And oh, I'm baby, I'm baby mama, I'm baby daddy. Then baby get here. And the whole thing fall out. The whole bottom, the bottom that y'all was standing on. Fall right the fuck out. And now y'all just dangling. Everything is dangling. And then, whatever caused the bottom to fall out, be it him cheating 
or whatever it was. When y'all separate, the mama got the child. Because they always say, mama's baby, daddy's maybe. So that means daddy can actually walk away. That's when you make us, that's when you become the bad guy, initially. That's initially, right then, when you become the bad guy. When you walk away from this relationship, you become the bad guy. And in your bad guyness, you forgot that you're still daddy. You're so mad at this chick. You just want to get away from her, but you're leaving behind your baby. Now, you done sat down for about a week, maybe two. You know how, the child, how old the child is. And then in that soft spot in your heart for your child, you're missing your baby. You don't hear dad, daddy, dad, dad, none of that. So then you're going to pick up the phone and you try to call old girl. I want to see my baby. No. It's the first reaction you get because she's still mad. She's still hurt. She's still very much disgruntled. Months go by. I want to see my son. No. Three months go by. No. Six months go by. Nine months go by. A whole year has gone by. You have not seen your child. Now, for whatever reason y'all separated, that had, should have nothing to do unless it was something in reference to you hurting that child or hurting that mother. But if it's because y'all arguing all the time or he cheated, that ain't got shit to do with the fact that he probably bought that baby. He probably was out there bragging on his son, his daughter, buying it, making sure the baby had a roof over the head, car to drive, clothes on his feet, shoes on his, clothes on his back, shoes on his feet, food in his mouth. It did, he took care of his child. That ain't got shit to do with you. You was the girlfriend. That's the baby. Like Steve said, two separate roles, mama. He's a boyfriend. He's also a daddy. You mad with him. You mad with him. You make sure you badmouth him to everybody else. Let that child make that decision. If that child is too young, come on over and see your baby. You're not taking the baby with you. I, I get it. I get it. I'll take the baby to your mama house. But you cannot hold that child from that father. You can, oh you can. I can't tell you what you can and cannot do, but it's not what you can and cannot do. It's what you should and should not do. In the beginning, up until that time, and up until the time the child is able to make its own decision, it should just be, you know what? Come see the baby. You and the baby sit over here. I'll go in the bedroom. Y'all spend all y'all time together. If you need anything, holler. I'll bring it to you. We ain't got to have no interaction. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's done. When that child gets up a size, if it's in its mind, it says, you know what? I see my mom and my dad together. I need to know why. And if it's something that that child feels like, you know what? Dad, that was, that hurt me. Even though it did, I wasn't young. I was too young. It hurt mom, so it hurt me. I got to give you some, I got to get, you know, I got to take some time away. I, I can't come around. That's the child's right to have that. It's old enough to understand. But y'all damn mamas with this because you cheated or because I saw you talking to that girl or you liked this girl picture on IG or you was in somebody DMs or you was in somebody messenger. I'm going to take my child. Y'all got to stop that shit. Y'all really need to stop that. Y'all really need to stop that. Because if y'all was one of those types of children that grew up without a dad in the house, how did you feel? From personal experience, I felt kind of shitty because I mean, I had a father or two or three or four. You know, back in them days, you know, we all had the same daddy. However the case may be, that's not even here nor there. But that's the thing. Like I told, I tell all my kids, don't let the father not see the child. The father want to see the child, let the father see the child. Don't not do that. Don't do that. Don't. I'm going to hold the baby. I'm not going to see the baby. Don't do that. When the child is up his eyes, and he can make his own decision whether or not he wants to see dad, mom, however the case may be, whoever's in custody, and the visitor, then fine. That's that child's decision. But stop making, stop making long life decisions for children based on 
immediate hatred. You get what I'm saying? Stop getting mad today at this man or this woman, however the situation may be, and then that's a lifelong decision. This child ain't seen the daddy's or the mama. So now this child hates either the mama or the daddy because they feel you ain't never did nothing for me. You was never there. But you, as a child, you don't know the, the, the situation behind whatever happened to cause whatever happened to have happened. In his case now, the cheating, okay, fine. You and the husband, wife, whatever, y'all get a divorce. Y'all got to stop using these damn babies, bro. I'm so, I, I hate when people do that. I'm not going to let you see your daddy. I'm not going to let you see your child. I'm not going to see you. Nigga, you won't see this child till you six seen this child. I don't give a damn. Me and my husband separate back in the day. Mm -mm. Nigga, you going to see these babies. These your babies, you going to see them. Either by, by me and you just coming to a mutual understanding or putting the damn law into it. But you going to get these babies. You put these babies in, you going to get these babies. I'm so sorry. Now, that's just my take. I, I would love to hear what y'all guys got to say. This your girl, Miss Benjamin Buttons 01. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm out.